Well, it's morning here in Normandy. And uh, we're preparing to go to the aquarium and a few other places before heading back to Dijon. But first, breakfast. Breakfast was pretty good for being on the road, and even came with a view of the sea. Appetite satisfied, it was time to make the short drive to the aquarium. It's really very pretty here. It makes it hard to imagine that this place was once part of the World War, evidence of which we will see here in just a bit. Something to keep in mind if you visit this part of France. It rains a lot. It would be wise to carry an umbrella. Rain or shine, you aren't going to want to be stuck inside with so much to see. And there is a lot to see. I wish we had more time on this trip to explore the coast. Whether you are a history buff, a tourist trap junkie, or just love taking great photos, it's all here. <laughs> And we've arrived at the aquarium. There won't be any wind in there, don't worry. I know there's a little bit of wind out here. <sighs> One thing that you'll see if you ever come here to Normandy, sorry about the wind, bunkers, Nazi bunkers all over the place. We're coming up on a couple of them right now, right outside of the aquarium. The coast here is literally covered with these things. They also have these great big bombs. I guess these used to be out in the water. If they saw the Allied ships coming, they'd just blow them to smithereens. Didn't work. Time to see what the aquarium has to offer. It starts out with quite the collection of arthropods. I'm not overly bothered by bugs, but some of these things might be enough to make me jump if I saw it crawling on me. And of course, there are fish. Lots of fish. Big fish, small fish, even the kind with shells. So many fish to see. My son found this guy hiding under a rock. Guess he looked suspicious there. stairs they have some art exhibits. This one has a lot of objects made using crystals. First crystals now seashells. Yes, seashells. Everything made using seashells. It's an interesting look but maybe not to my taste. Sorry, the wind is blowing. Exit through the gift shop. Be prepared if you have kids. <laughs> they're gonna see stuff and they're gonna want it. We didn't get away empty handed. Finished with the aquarium, we took a few minutes to enjoy the beautiful views of Granville and to visit the statue of George Rene Le Pelle de Laville? I probably said that wrong. A naval officer from the 18th century. Well, that was interesting. And now we're going to a museum about Christian Dior. 
fashion stuff. I don't know anything about that. I don't even think the place is open right now, but we'll get a look at the outside anyway. It's true that I don't know anything about fashion, but I have heard of Dior, so at least there's that. He was born here in Granville, and after his family moved to Paris, they would come back to visit regularly. Always wanting to be involved with art, Dior would sketch and sell fashion designs to get by until he was discovered. He went on to create his own fashion house. As you all probably know, it turned out very successful. I can't help but think his childhood in this beautiful part of the world must have had some influence on him to inspire artistic tendencies. In some ways, it reminds me of the short time I lived near the Oregon coast. The sea has a way of inspiring people. Well, they certainly got a beautiful park here. Beautiful grounds around this house, which I guess is the, uh, the museum itself. I'm sure it's pretty cool inside if it was open. It's not, but uh, beautiful flowers, all this stuff. Great view of the sea. he could get access to the beach down there by taking these steps. I'm probably not going to go down there since my son and wife are waiting in the car at the moment. My son did not care to see this place, but uh, what do you expect from kids, huh? We'll go back up here to the grounds to have a better look from the view up above. There we go. What a beautiful view. I guess uh, even for a fashion designer, that would be a, a very inspiring view for anyone who's an artist of any kind. Sorry for the wind. Beautiful. It's sort of amusing to me. Parents often have greater and more practical ideas for their children than they think their children have for themselves. Dior's parents wanted him to become a diplomat. I'm sure there were some arguments when he was still a struggling artist, but he kept it his dream and it paid off in the end. Well, that just about does it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little bit of a visit to this part of France, to Normandy and Christian Dior's home. I guess uh, we'll head back up to Dijon and see you in the next one.